Welcome to Wine Decoded's Bathtub Winemaking Project for Vintage 2016. Today we're looking at the morning rounds. Every day when you wake up during vintage, it's time to go and find out what's going on in the winery. First things first, we like to go and have a quick look at the ferments. In this case, they're only red, so we have a bit of a scratch and sniff. Lift the lids, check out what's going on in there, and today we decided that just a gentle hand plunge would be the first course of action. But a couple of them were a little bit stinky. So the next step was to do a rack and return. That's a process where we suck all of the liquid out of the vats and we transfer it into an empty tank. And while we're doing that, we aerate it as much as we can, introducing heaps of oxygen into the liquid and blowing off some of the carbon dioxide that's dissolved into it. That oxygen's fantastic for the yeast. It's food for them. It helps them grow big and strong and make sure that they're not stressed because yeast tend to produce that kind of stinky hydrogen sulfide only when they're stressed. So by doing this, we're hoping that they'll be nice and happy and stop doing yeasty farts. So we'll then, after we've pumped it out of the tank, pump it back into the vat. The reason we like to do a rack and return is because it allows us to ensure that heaps of oxygen is uniformly distributed through the liquid, getting as in contact with as much of the yeast as possible. But also because if we just pump over the vats, by sucking the wine from the bottom of the vat and then just spraying it back over the top and aerating it in that process, it can be quite aggressive and it can result in a extraction of a heap of tannin that could be just a little bit too aggressive for this wine. So by doing this, much gentler extraction, still achieve aeration and get the job that we want done of making those yeasty boys happy. So we take the opportunity when we're pumping the wine back into the vat to give it another quick aeration through a tiny little tap and into a tub and have a little scratch and sniff and see what's happened. So we want to have a look at the temperature, we want to have a look at the sugar levels, we want to have a, a quick taste to see how the tannins progressed and whether we've blown off all of that hydrogen sulfide. And in this case, everything's looking good. The wine's looking nice and clean. The sugar levels are dropping appropriately given the stage of the ferment and the temperature's under control. She's getting a little bit warm, so we were cooling it down a little bit by running the wine over that side wall of the tank on a cool day. So things are looking pretty good, and it's time for the next step. So we managed to aerate all the wine, but we're still left with the skins in the vats. And they're a bit stinky too. They contain plenty of liquid and plenty of yeast that are looking for a little bit of oxygen as well. So I took the opportunity, while the liquid's all out of the vats, to give, it, give the skins a little bit of an aerate too, by just gently lifting them and letting them cascade back into the vat. We moved all the way around, doing that to as much of the skins as we could a few times, just to introduce that little bit extra oxygen. The last step for the morning rounds was to get all that beautiful wine back into the vats, back into contact with those skins so it can continue to extract those beautiful flavours, colours, aromas and the lovely supple tannin that's coming from this beautiful Shiraz. So we just spray that back in using the pump back over the top of the vats uh, until they're full again. Then we lock them up until we're ready to do the next set of rounds in the Arvo. Give them another plunge, maybe another aerate just depending on how they're looking. So there you have it. There's the morning rounds. The morning rounds condensed from what probably took about an hour and a half into about a few minutes. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Wine Dakota Bathtub Winemaking Project for Vintage 2016. The Shiraz is looking yummy. And if you want more, head to winedakota.com.au and join the Ultimate Wine Playground where we'll be devouring some of the best wines from around the world and sharing those with you at some of our amazing interactive experiences. And you'll be able to stay up to date with the Bathtub Winemaking Project from 2016 and get your hands dirty in 2017 when we do it all again. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Cheers and bye for now.